Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Labyrinth of Limitations. Uh, for this episode, we're going to continue to look at family. And um, we're going to look at a very particular movement that resolves to A minor. And just thinking of a dominant chord resolving to A minor, it sounds something like this. Okay, so another one would be like uh, maybe around this area. So this is looking at family, and what I'm thinking is E dominant seventh. That's more with dominant seventh, which is also beautiful. And um, and then let's think of what the family is in relation to E dominant seventh. So a way of finding that is take your E dominant seventh, move it up so it becomes the diminished. And so this is E, and then this is it's six on the five when I continue up on that same string. Now I've found B minor six, which is the six on the five for E seven. And as I was saying before, it connects to that scale. I can think of all that stuff. But then going on, you can see the previous video I did about that type of thing. Um, so back to this diminished, I'll take the fourth string, move it down. And this is the tritone, which is a B flat dominant seventh. And here is F minor six, which is the tritones minor. So, So then, continuing on. So both of the first ones, I should say, are the ones that are the normal ones. You have the six on the five, when and and the, just the dominant seven, and you have the tritone and the tritones minor. And both of those are the most standard go-tos because they both have the tritone that resolves to A minor or major. So, so they both have that. Now we move on and we go. This is. Um, the D flat dominant seventh, and it does not have this tritone, and neither does its six on the five. And then you have this, you have back to the diminished, I move the second string down, and I go up for that, and that is, um, that is <laughs> uh, in D minor six, and this also doesn't have this tritone. But between these two, which I'm gonna call the black, uh, not the black sheep, but the ugly ducklings from now on. So this is the ugly du duckling number one and ugly duckling number two, just looking at the minor six chords. And if you look at them closely, you might observe that one of them might, I, I call the ugliest duckling because that has the major seventh in relation to E. So E dominant seventh has this, but that is weird. But it happens in the tritone scale like the uh, the scale that you have. So you have this note. And I always view that as a passing tone that goes, you know, something like it. Or, so it's passing on the way to either the fifth of A in this case, or down to the third of A. So it's a passing note, this major seventh in relation to E, when I'm thinking of E as a dominant seventh chord. Okay, so the ugliest duckling is the um, is is A flat minor six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this move. What I'm doing there is I'm playing the tritones minor in relation to E. So this is F minor six is a little shell chord. I take I take this third that is in, in the top of that and I move it out to a tritone and then I move out to a shell chord that is A flat minor six. And then I go out to F minor six as a shell chord. And then, so that's the sound. And you go. That's another one. This is going F minor six out to the diminished notes. Whoops. See? See, I could also do this. That sounds really pretty this time because I get the major seventh going up to the fifth, but either one is really 
pretty, but what I'm doing is specifically identifying that A flat minor six and F minor six are going to interchange. Some or something more dramatic. And then that's pretty. That's that's pretty stuff. Um, so then uh, here is F minor six. That's the same one as this one. So then how about this one? So and then Combine these things with other things I talk about in this channel, like, for example, the chromatic scale, Barry's beautiful chromatic scale. So this is going to be F minor six. So that's really pretty stuff. And what that is is I'm going F minor six as a little shell chord, chromatic note to diminish. So. And then I got to skip up because I'm thinking of a flat minor six coming next, which is this. So, and I'm going to create up to a borrowing. So that's pretty. That's um. jump up because the next thing I want to do is this. See, so. See, I'm going to go jump up, creep up, like filling the space to the bar I'm Which is really pretty. All of these, I think, are really pretty. You know, here's F minor 6. Okay, so I'm going to go out from a shell to an octave. duckling. Sorry for the confusion. And then F minor 6. Isn't that pretty? So those are all of these uh, little ideas you can do. You can you can do them anywhere. So, exploring so what that is is really systematically thinking I'm gonna go tritones minor to the ugliest duckling which is the minor six that has the uh, major seventh and that is a minor third up from the tritones minor in other words um, tritones minor in this case is F minor six and a minor third up from F minor six is a flat minor six so in other words what's gonna happen in my hand is I have root position chord for F minor six here. I'm gonna have the six in the bass, and I go backwards in that circle of what's in the bass. So if I have the six in the bass, I'm gonna have the fifth in the bass. If I'm gonna have the uh, fifth in the bass, I'm gonna have the third. And that's the way I look at it. So I think that's where I'll end this episode. I've got a lot of ideas of what I wanna to talk to about you next, but this just kind of came up yesterday, and I thought it was just so pretty, it was worth sharing. Thanks for following and keep practicing.